Hi students, so this is a calculator aid for the TI-89 Titanium and I just want to share with you a really cool function that the TI-89 Titanium does have. If you're in your statistics menu and you go to F5, it's the distribution menu and this is a really cool menu. I think before I probably shared with you binomial um, PDFs and CDFs and if you'll notice You've got the binomials, you've got the s, you've got the chi-squares, you've got t's, and you've got normal CDFs, which are great if your sample size is one, but something that I really enjoy is the inverse, inverse normal. Now we use this when we have a probability and we want a raw score from it. So for example with guarantee problems like on this worksheet. It's a normal distribution and it's a guarantee problem. And they tell us that x is less than some number which equals 10%. Uh, 10% 10 10 of the graph is shaded, right? It's a very common uh, setup. And it's called the inverse normal. So if we select the inverse normal, it says what's your area? Well the area that we would have shaded is 10%. Uh, so I put in the area is 10% x bar, he wants to know, I'm sorry, he wants to know mu, or the mean that's given to you. In this problem it's 25, and the standard deviation that is given to us is 5. And then you hit enter, and it's going to calculate that raw score for you, which is 18.6 months if you did it by hand. And if you do it with a calculator, it's 18.5922. Uh, so, bam, right there, as long as you can set it up and you know what the shaded area is, and you know your mean and you know your standard deviation, it's going to calculate that raw score for you in just a matter of seconds. It's just a really cool function in the normal, uh, in the TI-89 titaniums. Now, in the distribution key, for example, if you wanted to do a normal CDF, let's assume sample size is 1, like up here on this problem where we just have a single test and we want to calculate some probabilities. If you go into that function, it asks you for the lower value. Now, since the normal is a continuous distribution. This lower value in this shaded picture would be negative infinity. So that key is a green key or a little green triangle key. I call it the green key. Green key catalog gives you infinity and you want to add the negative sign in front and then the green key catalog for the infinity for your lower bound, your upper bound. Uh, let's see. In this problem, we want an upper bound of 3,500. And in this problem, our mean is very large. It's 7,500, so 7,500, and the standard deviation is 1,750. And if you just want to calculate this probability, when we did it by hand and using the z-table, we got 0 0.0110. And using the calculator, we get 0 0.01135. Now remember the table has a little bit of error than the calculator will, so this is a more accurate probability, and it can just do it for you in a matter of seconds. It has issues, though, if your sample size is greater than 1. You can't use this function if sample size is greater than 1, and that's the limitation on it. But just some cool things about this TI-89 Titanium. It really is a robust calculator that works very well for statistics.